Hello guys and welcome to another PowerPoint tutorial. In today's video I'll teach you how I made these slides that look absolutely incredible and they are so easy to do. So without further ado, let's get started. And here's the colors that I'm going to use for this presentation, but obviously you don't have to pick the same ones, you can choose whatever colors you like. And I'm gonna start with a blank slide. I'm gonna right click and add a vertical guide and add a horizontal guide. And then I'm gonna right click and format background and I'm gonna pick a gradient field. And just copy the gradient that I have here. If you have more handles on your version, you can just drag them down to get rid of them. And we're gonna change the direction to the bottom right corner. Then I'm gonna insert a rounded rectangle here holding shift so it's a perfect square and I'm gonna drag the yellow dot a little bit to round the corners a little bit less then I'm gonna get rid of the outline and I'm gonna change the color of the fill and then I'm gonna double click in it and here I'm gonna write the letter S and I'm gonna pick a font called Gotham black because it's a very bold font and I think it's gonna work great for this presentation. And with this button here you can just make it larger. Now I'm gonna insert a square here just to cover this corner. Again I'm gonna select no line and I'm going to pick the same color that I had for the other shape. And this will help us later on so our design looks seamless. So now it's time to add your content and here I'm just going to pick a very basic font and this is just placeholder text so I can replace it later. And then I'm going to insert my title. So on this case this slide refers to the strength so I'm just going to write the word strength and change the font to Gotham and initially I thought that Gotham black would look good but then I regretted it and I thought that Gotham regular looked better because it gives us like a minimalist and just stylish look and I'm gonna use the same color that I used for the shape and we have pretty much defined the structure of our layouts and now it will be super easy to do the rest of them. So I'm gonna duplicate this slide with Ctrl D and on this one I'm gonna change the position of all the elements. So let's bring this one to the bottom left corner and I'm gonna bring the text to the right hand side. Now it's time to change the colors. So for this one, I'm gonna pick purple and then I'm just gonna replace the letter here for the W because this one corresponds to the weaknesses. And now what we need to do is change the direction of the gradient. So I'm just gonna pick this one, bottom left corner, and I'm gonna change the color to purple. And just like that, we have our new slide. So again, duplicate the slide with Ctrl D and now let's bring this square to the top left corner and this one will be corresponding to opportunities. So I'm gonna replace the W for the letter O and the text for opportunities. And this text is too close to the right edge of the slide so I'm just gonna bring everything a little bit closer to the middle and I'm gonna repeat that on the weaknesses slide so everything is tidy and aligned. For this one I'm gonna use the color green so I'm just gonna change the color here. Remember to change the direction of the gradient as well. This one goes to the top left corner and change the color of the squares to green as well. For the last one just duplicate the slide with Ctrl D and because I want everything aligned perfectly, I'm gonna delete this text and I'm gonna copy the one from strengths so everything's on the same position. And again, I'm gonna bring this square to the top right corner 
and we just need to replace the letter here so I'll change it to the letter T again I'm gonna change the color to this blue right here and the title I'll replace it for threats change the color to blue as well again change the color of the gradient and change the position of the gradient now to the top right corner and just like that we have our four slides ready to go so now let's create a new slide and I'm gonna change the layout to a blank slide and then I'm gonna go to insert zoom slide zoom let's select these four slides right here and click on insert and now like a puzzle we're just gonna put all the pieces together and this is where the guides that we created at the beginning are super helpful because they help us position our slides exactly on each quarter of the main slide and then I'm gonna select the threads piece I'm gonna go to zoom and just check on return to zoom so you can return to this slide after you play it on slideshow mode then select all of them holding shift and let's get rid of the zoom border here and click on no border and you're done you have just created this awesome SWOT slide in PowerPoint and you can actually click it. It works if you click on each of the pieces. If you like this tutorial, make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you can get more PowerPoint tutorials every week. And remember that I have all of my free slides available on lurrutiappt.com. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at lurrutiappt. And thank you so much for your support as always. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video.